You can really grab your audience's attention by making your presentation dynamic. But remember that restraint is nevertheless in order. So be dynamic without going overboard. In this demonstration, we are using PowerPoint 2010. Even though presentation programs differ somewhat, most of the skills you will develop here can be used with other presentation programs. Just take the time to explore the options offered by each program to make the most of your presentations. Did you know that it can be useful to add navigational elements to a presentation? Let's take a look at how to do this. To start, write the keyword or descriptor in the text box. Then, create a hyperlink to a website, to another page of your presentation, or to another document you want to access during your presentation. Here, we select the text box, and then release the mouse button. Notice that the hyperlink can also be created using an image, like a logo, for example. Then click on the Insert tab, and in the Links group, click on the Hyperlink button. The Insert Hyperlink window opens. Then make sure that the existing file or web page button is selected, and enter the web address in the Address field. Click OK. This way you can automatically access a website while you are in slideshow mode during the presentation. To insert links to other slides in the presentation, you select the object to be linked and then click again on the hyperlink button. This time you select place in this document in the link to section, then select the desired location. In this case we want to directly access slide 4. The Slide Preview section lets you make sure you have chosen the right slide. Then you just click on OK to complete the operation. Check that the link is working by activating the slideshow mode and clicking on the image. Hit Escape on the keyboard to return to normal view. You can use the same principle to add navigation buttons in your slides. Click on the Insert tab and then on Shapes. Find the action buttons, choose an action button, place your cursor in the place where you want to put the button, left click and hold down the button to drag the action button to the right size, and then let go. Automatically the action settings window appears. Here in the hyperlink to field, click on the action of your choice and click OK. To make your presentation more dynamic, you can also apply transition and animation effects. Remember to use some self-restraint though, and make sure the content is the main focus, not the bells and whistles. If your presentation calls for a little pizzazz, here's what to do. Click on the Transitions tab to apply or remove transitions between slides, and then find the various possible effects in the Transition to this slide group. Then you can choose a transition from the one suggested, or click on None to delete one that is already there. The Timing group offers settings that can be useful if your presentation is going to run independently. To apply or remove an animation, click on an object, such as a picture, to select it. Click on the Animations tab in the ribbon. Find the Animations group. And click on one of the suggested animations. The Preview button lets you view the animation. The Timing group also lets you set the start time, the duration, and the delay. To animate text or bulleted lists, click on the text box to select it, click on one of the suggested animations, and use the Effect Options button to select the effect you want. Small framed numbers indicate the start order for the animations. To change the start order, find the timing group and click Move Later. Pay attention to the number that is displayed to ensure the paragraphs appear in the right order. To establish the slideshow settings, click on the Slideshow tab to set the way the slides will be projected. You can use commands in the Start Slideshow group and commands in the Setup group to define the timing of the slide, for example and commands in the Monitors group to adjust the screen resolution of your projector or computer. Would you like to see the result? 
Just click on Slideshow to view and admire your presentation. Now you know how to make a really dynamic, eye-catching presentation. Bear in mind that the content, not the form, must always remain front and center. Keep up the good work!